Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a wig review. Um, this is a wig that I've had for probably a year and a half, going on two years, because I bought it when I went to Birmingham. Oh, oh, I mean, it's been a minute. And the particular beauty supply that I got it from was going out of business, so they had like some awesome deals on some human hair wigs, so I picked it up. But before I get into that, I want to uh, say hello to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my old subbies. You know that I love you all and I appreciate you all. And also I wanted to, I guess, well, I wouldn't say announce, but let you know that part of my, I guess, New Year's resolution um, list or whatever, I was going to try to start using more of the makeup that I have because I have tons of it that I don't use because most of the time it's somewhere that I can't see it or it's packed away and if I don't see it I don't use it so I'm making a conscious effort to use a different palette every day a different lip lippy every day um and just use my products because I hate to just have them sitting there and not being used so the palette that I'm using today is one of the first palettes that I bought that I I want to say I used it probably twice since I had it and it's this NYX um, makeup artist palette I don't even know if they're still making this palette um, but this is what it looks like I don't want to blind you with the mirror, so I'm going to turn it side down. <laughs> but it has these a nice size um, eyeshadow pans in it, and it's a, var a variety, a real big variety of color, um, neutrals, um, very deep, pretty colors. And then it also has a bottom part that you just slide this over to expose and then it has blushes and bronzers and down here where my fingernail went into it <laughs> just a few minutes ago um some lippies so i use this today and the colors that i'm using are some of these pretty greens um i use this lime green that's right here in the corner i used this um pretty i want to say kind of a olive green color and then I used um, this gray and then this darker gray right here and um, I also used the blush one of the blushes so I'm doing good y'all um, I used this sort of deep rose color right here and then some other products as my contour and highlights the highlight that I used got from Dollar Tree and this is amazing I when I opened it up because I had this for a minute too I was amazed at how it looked this is called bronze glow or bronze glow from LA colors um and it has a great payoff I don't know if you can see that my lighting is really bad so I apologize for that so let me swatch it and it just highlights very well so I really like it and that's what it looks like um so yeah I use that as a highlight on my lips is one of the um NYX matte lipsticks hmm, I didn't realize it just bell went off I use NYX products um together this is a matte lippy from their new collection this one is sweet pink and that's what it looks like so yeah starting that so this is my face and that's the palette of the day so let's get into the wig so I've been talking for four minutes and hadn't even shown you the wig again the wig came from a beauty supplier that was closing and this wig is from Urban Beauty and it's called Jenny and that's what she looks like now this looks if it's not the same wig like the Jenny from equal or free dress equal that they came out a little while ago but that wig that I had was synthetic so I don't know if it's you know they've been bought out by free dress or whatever I have no idea but it's 100% human and it's uh, supposed to be really human here according to the card and like I said I've had this it I want to say it has been two years but I know if it's not it's close to it but this is what it looks like and she's on my mannequin head and it's really really pretty and soft a lot of movement and what I really liked about this because with short wigs I hate when they're not um, long enough in the back to where it rises up and you can see your natural hairline or your hairline here in the back but I like the fact that it comes down um, 
low enough to camouflage and cover that and it's tapered so I like the way that it looks and I had it packed away never wore it the tags were still on it and see that's a part of my um I guess my resolution too to go through and wear some of the wigs that I don't wear or have not worn in a while or, or start wearing some of the ones that I have not <laughs> ever worn so here's the first one of the never worn wigs so yeah she's really really cute so let me take her off the mannequin head so you can see the construction she has no combs but she does have the adjustable straps in the back and see, I love that how long that hair is in the back. Okay, but yeah, the adjustable straps. Let me go ahead and put that strap in. I would like some combs because I do like using combs, but if I need any security, I can always use bobby pins. And then you have your standard cap construction, obviously. And let me make sure there were no skin tops or anything. This is just a wefted wig, basically. And the hair is really, really soft. And it's really light so yeah and again it's supposed to be Remy and let's see it says it's 100% handmade so let me put it on let me show you guys what she looks like and it's a really comfortable fitting cap love it okay and you know when I wear short wigs if it's not the mummy or the mimi I want a lot of <laughs> volume because I have a fat face I think so I need something to balance it out and then I have my curling irons over here heating up because since it's been packaged for so long it had a little um Pump, so that's why I had on the mannequin head, and then just in case it didn't come all the way out, I had that. So I may need just um, to use the curling irons just to clean it up. So I'm using my um, camera as a mirror, so forgive me because I forgot to bring my mirror in here. So I'm making sure I got all the hairs out in the back. But I am loving this little short dude here, she is cute. And again, never wore her. And I'm liking the fact that it is human, so I can put some heat and not have to worry about anything. And I'm making sure that none of my little plaques are sticking out under my wig cap, because that has happened before. I don't want to go through that again. But she is really darling. I just like the way that it it looks really natural. It's just how the hair is falling and all that good stuff. And I may not need to do anything as far as heat's concerned. But we'll see. Ooh, yeah, I may have to touch that little piece up right there. So, and this is a hot and gold um, flat iron slash barrel curler that I got from my beauty supply. I'm just going to put a bump in it. And I like the fact that it has a lock so it didn't spring open. So, yeah. She's really, really cute. I'm loving it. Okay. So, I guess that's all I'm going to do because I, I kind of like that little. Because that's, you know, if you had you wearing your own hair. It would not be perfect and so I like the way that that's working with this so let me show you the sides in the back okay this is my left side and here she is oh she's so soft right and then here is the right side I'm knock this over okay all right and let me show you that and hopefully you're seeing it and you see how long it comes down and I love that about it in the bag. So, yeah, this is Miss Janae <laughs> from uh, Urban Beauty. That's what it says on the card. Urban Beauty, 100% Remy Human Hair, Tangle Free and True. It has, I mean, for it to be short anyway, it's not going to tangle much, but it's really soft hair. And I like that.
Um, and that's what she looks like. And you know, you can't go by these cards, I'm telling you. Because <laughs> these pictures on these models will just make you just say, uh-uh. So you have to give them a chance. But this wig, I know, was $21. And they had a price tag on it, I want to say, for like 50 or something. And then they had a percentage off of the 21 because they were trying to get rid of everything. So I want to say I paid probably like 12 bucks or something for a human wig. So, yeah. And I have another one, too, that I want to... um review as well and I got them both from the same place and I just put them away because I was into whatever wigs that were coming out at that time and um forgot all about these so yeah and it does look like that Jenny wig gosh it is I think it's a free trash equal wig and they had like the colors where you get the purple and the pinks and stuff like that in it so I mean these wig companies just either dupe themselves or they're made by the same people and just you know tack a different name or different company name on it or whatever and market them to us so I love her really cute and this is just something to you, you know, wear every day, do your errands or whatever. So, yeah, that's Miss Jenna, my Forrest Gump voice. Um, and, yeah, I'm wearing all my little NYX makeup. Didn't even realize I was wearing NYX lippy and palette. So, yeah, so stay tuned for the next one. I may not do videos every day of me or announcing the palettes, but I'm trying to use them every day. So every time that I do a video, I'm going to at least um, have a new palette for you, but it may not be a everyday thing for you to see me using those palettes and makeup so yeah that is it if you have any questions again feel free to leave them below um follow me on instagram 334 bama girl and on twitter 334 bg and i think that's all i wanted to let you guys know so until my next video i will see you then bye